Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Chasings coming to you live from Vietnam, guys. This is our evening time, drive time update, guys. And we got the alien in the house, guys. And we got Dino. We got Dino absolutely here. It's a beautiful green Dino day. We're going to talk about that. We're going to see that there's a huge Dogecoin accumulation. Whales are buying up the Doge like crazy. We got some huge, huge eBay news. Looks like eBay is about to turn on its crypto wallets. This is going to be huge for crypto space. And I'm going to show you more and more evidence that whales are buying up the Bitcoin guys we just had about 1.1 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin leave coinbase pro guys and that is huge 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 because we're seeing more and more Bitcoin leaving exchanges like never before and that only means one thing that the price of Bitcoin and crypto and Dogecoin and the Shiba Inu is gonna go to the moon guys it's just a matter of time guys it's a huge huge great day to be alive we're seeing another green day and a lot of that green day is because we got the Debbie Downer shorts in the house who shorted Bitcoin and of course the market makers there they're pushing Bitcoin up and they want to el eliminate and get rid of all the uh, shorts guys so do be prepared be prepared there could be a flash wick or a, or a hunt whip or a wick or a probing wick that goes to the upside and goes down to the downside to create maximum pain to wipe out all the leverage traders guys because as we know remember it's Friday we're going to have a CME gap close this Friday. So it's going to be max pain time, guys, for the bitty. And by max pain for Bitcoin is around about, uh, around about $39,800 to $40,000. So you can see Biddy go up there. Then on the weekend, we always see that the leverage leverage uh, uh, traders are often very light because they all lost all their money all week. And now they're looking for a new job. Oh, red card, red card. We need to give a red card to leverage traders. Red card in the house, guys. So it's a great time to be alive, guys. Debbie Donner and Dino, they're going crazy. Come down, come down. Get in there. So sometimes I get a little bit excited because we're seeing that the green and red is just so so narrow that you know one wants to kind of push the Bitcoin and crypto either green or red. So they're kind of going nuts out there. So let's jump in the content. Get ready. Get ready to go down the crypto rabbit hole. We're the OG in the house, guys. Rick Flair Crypto in the house. Remember to go down there. Smash the likes like never before, guys. Go down there. Subscribe. Comment, comment, comment. Let's jump in the content without any further delay, guys. Let's get it. And remember, this is absolutely 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 not financial advice, guys. Yeah, get out of there. Stop hogging the camera. Get out of there. So we're seeing right now that the heat map in the house is looking pretty green, guys. So things are looking pretty good. And like I said, the max pain level is around about 39,800 to 40,000. And that's going to take out the, the largest amount of leverage traders, longs and shorts. So that's that's the position the market maker is going to push the bitty up. So don't be, don't be surprised if there's a flash crash, flash week or a hunt whip or a wick or a probe whip that goes kind of ching ching like that. And that's often a probe to kind of, you know, eliminate a lot of the leverage position, guys. So things are looking pretty good in the crypto market, guys. So let's have a quick, quick sneak peek, sneak peek at the, uh, you can see right here, see, we had this flash, flash wick that went to the downside. Now it's going to go back up. And that's, that's typically happens to eliminate a lot of the leverage long positions. And then what's going to happen is depending on, you know, the level of, you know, who apes in the shorts or the, or the longs, then we could see that the opposite is going to happen. So that's what happens guys. So if we take a look at the pre-markets right now, the pre-markets are looking pretty green guys. The aliens, the aliens happy today. Alien was about to, to recharge and go to the Mars guys. Who wanted to go to Mars? We didn't get, get out. The Debbie Downer Bear, he just wants to steal the show. We don't need a Debbie Downer Bear. We had a red card for the Debbie Donner Bear. You're out of there because we've had a, too much, uh, you know, consolidation, a lot of red in the past couple of days. So yesterday was red, right? So we're seeing that the pre-markets, the Nazis, the Nasdaq. Oh, let's get get out of here. Let's get let's get on the U.S. markets. So let's get on the pre-markets right now. Oh, what's going on? So right now we're seeing that the pre-markets are looking pretty good. We got the Dow is up, the uh, S and P is up, and the Nasdaq futures are also up. So that's pretty good. So hopefully we can hold on that. And some of the stuff that's happening right now is seeing the Dow futures jumps 300 points on pre on the pre-markets right now and that is because there seems to be some progress between russia and ukraine ceasefire talk so that is good news god bless everybody in ukraine good luck to you let's let peace prevail guys so hopefully the madman and putin he will uh, you know give in to some of the demands but you know i don't think so so let's hopefully this is not just a, some saber rattling we really need putin to actually you know stop this whole kiboshi kiboshi stuff happening if these if these ceasefire talks do break down and then uh, putin walks out of there like like crazy what's going to happen is putin going to get a red card and then the market's going to go down dump 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 so let's just keep a, keep an eye on that guys so the big news is uh, right now that ebay ebay 
guys and gals, this is huge. eBay teases digital wallet in investors presentation. So eBay had this whole presentation to investors, you know, you know, quarterly earnings and, and all that kind of stuff. And in their in their message, they had this eBay digital wallet. So, you know, the rumor is that they're going to connect, uh, they're going to be offering their customers to be able to buy stuff on eBay using crypto. So, you know, they did, they did talk about that. They did try that, but it kind of failed and fizzled out. But it looks like they're aping into that. And there's also rumors that eBay may be registering the eBay brand uh, uh, in Metaverse, guys. So, you know, there might be an eBay.eth uh, coming out ENS soon. So that is pretty cool beans in the house, guys. So it looks like that. So eBay has flowed the idea of crypto payments for some time, but most recently in late February, when CEO Jamie told the street, uh, the company is studying potential for accepting cryptocurrencies that aim to go to the marketplace for Generation Z, guys. Generation Z, guys, and millennials. eBay already know, allows a sale of non-fungible tokens on this platform. So it would be a, re a, a reasonable, 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 uh, you know, short leap to go to crypto currency so that is pretty good so we're seeing some positive news out there some positive news out there so that is pretty good so it looks like big buying big nearly 30k thirty thousand dollars worth of bitcoin leans coinbase pro in three main transactions and this was taken off uh off off uh, the coinbase pro platform so we had these three you know these three uh the bitcoin uh Bitcoin transactions, there's like 9,843 Bitcoin, 9,901, 9,867 Bitcoin uh, for a total of 29,624. So that is pretty good news. But the, the bad news is, as you can see, that the amount of Bitcoin on Coinbase Pro just went poof. And then, you know, but this just goes to show that all the, uh, you know, Bitcoin exchange on reserves is going down, down, down. So if you see the blue line, you see that the amount of Bitcoin exchanges is going down, down, down. And remember, we've got 92% of all Bitcoin has been mined, guys and gals. And we're seeing that right now on exchanges after this big, you know, withdrawal of, uh, of Bitcoin is that we're seeing that the total amount of uh, Bitcoin left on exchanges is around about 11, uh, 11, about 10, 10 and half percent of the total bitcoin in circulation is only on exchanges so you know supply and demand you know at some point bitcoin has to break in terms of the price has to go uppity up up guys so that is good news and we're seeing big bitcoin accumulation trend is still more and more people are accumulating and there's less people you know you're going to see that less and less people are leverage trading because there's not too much bitcoin out there to be leverage trading because it's becoming more and more scarce so it's just it's still still uh you know in its infancy and you know we're seeing that this is the financial freedom financial revolution and crypto is in beginning stages of adoption guys so that is good news but you know still for a lot of people out there bitcoin is still boring for the mainstream so you and me who are into bitcoin and if you have more than one bitcoin you are one of the chosen few guys one of the chosen few out there congratulations to all of you and those of you that are aping into crypto remember life-changing wealth comes with only one thing buy the dips huddle dollar cost average take profits guys and that is that is a key and the emotional caution that you need to be successful in uh, cryptocurrency is very simple be patient don't trade with emotions don't fall in and buy the fear guys absolutely buy the fear and that's what you should be doing this is a great time to be alive we're seeing more and more whales are still holding their bitcoin still hodling like crazy and we're still seeing institutions of whales are still buying up like crazy guys keep keep watching guys smash the likes subscribe we got some huge dogecoin accumulation news we're seeing that whales are still buying up the doge guys and i'm going to tell you why they're doing it looks like uh, the uk watchdog orders bitcoin atms to be shut down guys and all of these uh, atms are out of there and is the reason and they basically said very simple the fca in the uk basically which is like the sec they said look crypto atms offering crypto asset exchange services in the uk must must be registered with the uk monetary laundering regulation mlr and they're not so if these people complied they could have their atms guys so if, you know if you're a, a uk atm operator come on Register already. Register, guys. What are you waiting for, guys? And, you know, because the problem is with these ATMs, crypto ATMs, there's no KYC, guys. So that is what the regulators are worried about, guys. So that is what the regulators are worried about. So it's not a big deal. It's not absolutely not a big deal, guys. Absolutely not a big deal. So BTC rebounds to 40K as hedge funds pour billions and billions of dollars. So we're seeing more and more hedge funds pouring 
billions of dollars, guys. And we can see that in 2000 and, you know, 2020, we saw that, uh, you know, the figure was only 120 billion. So in, in, uh, in 2021, we're seeing 1.14 trillion in cryptocurrencies. And that's up from 2020, uh, 20, uh, 2020's figure. Uh, and, and it's crazy, guys, because, you know, in 2020, you only have $535 billion of hedge funds aped in. But this year, we're seeing $1.14 trillion of money aping, aping in to uh, crypto, guys. And that is news. That is positive catalyst to show you that, you know, institutions are still going nuts, guys. And, you know, we have this whole Biden executive order, and that means that they're going to clarify and regulate crypto. And that means more of the traditional institutions who are kind of like scared of Bitcoin, they're going to be able to ape in because with the new regulation, it allows there's going to be alignment between the regulation and traditional accounting practices. And that is going to allow more and more institutions to ape in. It's just a matter of time, guys. It's just a matter of time. Woo! Let's get it, guys. I'm so on fire. I'm so excited. Excited, guys. eBay, eBay, guys. Can you imagine? Dogecoin accumulation increases by 6.8 percent after volume reaches almost 500 million. So right now we're seeing the Dogecoin volume is going up, guys. We're seeing that more and more whales are accumulating. Why are the whales accumulating? Well, one, because the Dogecoin is on discount right now. That's one of the reasons. You know, Dogecoin right now is trading 11 cents, 11.8, and it's been kind of just going range bound. We have this huge descending triangle that you can see down there, descending triangle, and we're about to break out of the apex but the whales know something because they're still accumulating accumulating bitcoin like crazy they're accumulating bitcoin uh, uh, dogecoin like crazy. get my words right so the whales are still accumulating dogecoin like crazy and that is a positive sign it's just a matter of time remember we got all this catalyst coming we got the doge x we got the doge one a mission to the moon guys we got all this great stuff we got the ethereum bridge we got tons of stuff more and more retailers are accepting it so if you are doubting the doge Wake up, guys. Smell the coffee. Smell the coffee. Absolutely smell the coffee. Joe's going to the moon, guys. We're absolutely going to get there. It's a fantastic time to be alive, guys. Whew, it's so great, guys, to be alive. Well, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So, Joe's going accumulation. It's happening, guys. Absolutely happening. Other news is Ukraine crypto trading rose by 170, 107%. Uh, since the Russian-Ukraine conflict with the madman Putin in Eastern Europe, guys. And, 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 you know, war is bad for people, but it's been very, very good for crypto, guys. It's been a huge billboard, billboard effect for crypto because people are talking about it. It's in the mainstream. Like when everybody was sending uh, cryptocurrency to Ukraine to help them over there, this was front page news. So crypto was everywhere, guys. People are talking about it. People are loving it. People are aping it in like never before, guys. So it's a great time to be alive. If you take a look at the total... The total leverage apes in right now right now in the house we got 131 130 million leverage apes. Ooh, i'm losing my breath i'm so excited that are aping into crypto right now and this is huge guys and we're seeing that for 40 40 345 leverage traders got wrecked the knuckleheads got wrecked they're out of there they lost their money and they never learn and we're seeing right now that with this whole seesaw pattern in the last 24 hours we're seeing that it's around 50% longs, 50% shorts, guys. And if you take a look in the last 12 hours, it's all shorts. And that is why we're seeing the Bitcoin price going uppity up, up. And trust me, there is going to be a flash wick very soon that's going to eliminate all the shorts. And you can see the price of Bitcoin is going up. Why? Because the amount of shorts are accumulating. Wake up, guys. The seesaw. The manipulation is happening right in front of your eyes. Wake up and smell the coffee. So right now we're seeing that Bitcoin is at 39,526. And I told you, go back and watch my previous video. I told you exactly where we were going to head, where the max pain level is. It's between 39,800 and 40,000. We're going to get there, guys. So, you know, if I was a leverage trader, I'd probably be a millionaire, but I don't like leverage trading. It's bad. It's nasty. And it just ruins it for everybody. So we're seeing right now that on the daily, Bitcoin is now trading at uh, 39,500. 525 but you can see here we had this huge consolidation phase descending trial break out to 51 percent huge consolidation break out to 51 percent and we're seeing even even longer longer consolidation longer descending triangle and that only means one thing that we're going to break out harder and faster to the upside guys and it's going to take us to the moon and i believe that we're going to see a hundred thousand dollars coming it's absolutely insane in the memory so you can see the downside remains limited short-term holder supply in profits hitting zero short term holder supply is hitting zero and this 
often is an incredible indicator of the bottom, guys. So if the bottom of Bitcoin is around $40,000, $40, where's the top? If the top is gonna to be at 100,000, guys. I love it, I love it, absolutely love it. Dogecoin is still on fire, guys. Dogecoin is gonna break out of the apex. It's being supported at our 12 cent line. So it's great, guys. It's fantastic in the house. Let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum right now is starting to come back, guys. And that's because of all the biddies. Biddies moving up. And the biddies moving up is because the market makers are pushing up the Bitcoin price to hit the max pain to eliminate the max amount of leverage traders, guys. And that's what that's all about. Don't, don't believe anything else. It's pure manipulation, guys. And we're seeing that right now Ethereum is at 26.32. So I'm fantastically happy. So it's going to be a good day. I think we're going to have a huge pump it up weekend. Pump it up weekend, guys. And we're seeing that uh, right now Solana is at $83. And that's well above our 80 cent uh, support level. So this $80, $80 support level, excuse me, is being a huge, huge level of support. And as long as we stay above there, Solana is looking fine. And it's going to the moon, guys. We're going to the moon together. Yeah. I love it. You love it. I love it. So you're seeing that uh, Phantom right now is trying to trying to make itself back up to this uh, red line here, which was support for very such a long time. And this is where the two knuckleheads left the farm, left the chicken coop, and gave up on crypto, guys. What a big mistake. Ooh, I hope these guys are like somewhere in Timbuktu. So, you know, it, right now we're seeing fan, uh, Phantom at uh, $1.23. And I believe we could have a risk to the downside of going down to $1, guys. So if you can see that Phantom has just been going on this downward trajectory here. And I think our next big support line is about a dollar, guys. So if we cannot break out of this descending triangle and head on up, and this is a point of confl confluence around, around here, guys, if we can't uh, get ourselves up there, we could definitely have a risk uh, of, of a downside to one dollar and if phantom goes down to one dollar i'm going to be buying i'm going to be buying like a madman like a madman i'm going to i'm going to put at least 250k into into phantom i'm buying like a madman guys because i think this is a huge layer one i love it i love it so if you look at all the tvl currently locked on chain right now you can see that right now you can see that ethereum is the king daddy followed by terra bsc avalanche solana in the house Phantom is number six in terms of total TVL lock, followed by Tron, Poly Polygon, Kronos, Waves, Osmosis, Polkadot, you know, Clay, Harmony. So these are the projects. Some people are saying, oh gee, what are you, what are you, what, what, what old coins are you looking at? Well, besides Ethereum, well, of course, the layer ones, because these are going to be big. These are going to have moonshot capability when we hit the old coin season in fall. You're going to love it. I love it, guys. I absolutely love it. So this is a great time to be alive, guys. So let's take a look at the total market cap. Let you get out of here. Let you absolutely get out of here. So I love it. It's a, we're seeing that the total market is at 1.78. We're gone up where the volume is still pretty light at 52 billion. The Bitcoin dominance is going up and up. That's because Bitcoin is going up and everybody's flowing, flowing their money into Bitcoin, guys. And remember, the price of Bitcoin is determined by the traders, by the leverage traders, by the traders, not you and me, the hodlers, because we have our Bitcoin. It's all the traders that, that push and determine the price of Bitcoin, guys. And remember, they're only playing with about 11%, 10 to 11% of the total Bitcoin that has ever been mined. So, they're, so that small fraction of holders actually has the capability of driving up the price, guys. And when that 11% becomes 5%, it means that, you know, the price is gonna go up because there's gonna be a skyrocketing demand for it. And, and there's no Bitcoin out there, guys. So we're seeing that Bitcoin is up right now. It's at 39,595. We're seeing Ethereum is up as well, almost 2% at 2631. So that's fantastic. I love it. We're seeing BNB right now is at 222% up. Yeah, BNB is finally turned around because BNB has been having a hard time. It's at $376. Luna Tuna is also up right now. It's up 1%. So I'm loving it. Don't go to the moon, guys. I love it. Solana is also up, guys. ADA is up. It's, eight, it's at 80 cents, almost 81, guys. A, uh, you know, ADA, in my humble opinion, it's not financial advice, is a good pickup any, anywhere below a buck, guys. DOT is up 7.26%. So fantastic for DOT. Dotty, dot, dot. And the Doja Warrior is up as well. So this is a look in pretty fine. It's a grand time. A grand time to be alive. This is Ric Flair Crypto. Guys, let's jump into it. Let's get it. And uh, don't forget to go and... Uh, you know, follow me on my Twitter. We got 4,110 followers. Yeah, baby. Go down there, follow. And if you love this channel like I love you, go down there, smash the likes, subscribe, come on like never before. And guess what? You made a hashtag. I made it. Tell me why you watch this video to the end. Do you think this content is good? Do you think that everything is going to go up or are we going to go down? I want to hear your comments, guys. I want to hear your comments. I love it. And guys and gals, don't forget to go over there. Go over there. Follow all the links. Become a Patreon member. Buy the channel a coffee. Do it right now, guys. And don't forget to check out the end. 
NFT collection. And don't forget to go over and check the Wifey's channel. We only need six more subscribers to get to the holy land, the holy grail of a thousand guys. We need your help. Support the OG's channel. Support the Wife's channel. Get it, get it, get it. I love it. And go and buy the merch, guys. I love it, guys. Get the cup, the cup. Get the mug, the mug. I'm on fire. You love it. And that is all I got to say about that. God bless each and every one of you out there. I love it. It's a great time to be, guys. But seriously, guys, things are looking good. Things are fantastic. Things are hopeful. Things are looking up. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. It's going to be a beautiful life. We'll focus on the positive. Focus on tomorrow, guys. I love it. You love it. Let's get it. Woo!